Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Five Minutes with Shawnee. Mr. Sean Anton with his guest, Michelle Rogers. Go ahead, Sean. Hey, everybody. How are you? It's September the 3rd, 2017. It's a great month. I'm sitting here with a wonderful woman, a great new friend who's, um, who, who's with Jim Walsh, who Jim suffered a massive stroke three years ago. And we're going to hear her, her story, how she stuck with him. And he, the reason why he's running, you guys saw him run last week, is because of this lady who right here. She inspired him to get up and get going. And you can just kind of share the story about what happened with Jim. Sure. Um, well, I was out shopping, actually, and I got a phone call from Jim, and he was on the golf course. And um, he said, I think I'm having a stroke. An ambulance is coming. Um, and can you meet me at the hospital? And we had just moved to California maybe a year earlier, and um, we weren't even sure what hospital had the best care. But um, he asked where to, to go, and I knew the closest hospital was uh, Shasta Regional. So we went there. They just happened to be known for stroke, so we lucked out. Um, when we got there, I, I got there before him, and he was throwing up. He was going through all these things. Um, but it was almost like vertigo. And the room was spinning. They did not have a doctor or a neurologist up there at the time in the ER. And so they had one of those teledoctors. So um, he was examining Jim through a computer screen. And it, they were considering the TPA, but they didn't do it because they weren't stroke. In fact, it took a couple of days to figure that out. So he was hospitalized and I was working. I work on media. So I have a really demanding schedule. I work 70 hours a week. But I um, parked myself in his um, hospital room and brought my computer and I could work from his room. And I was there every day for him. And he was there about 10 days in the hospital. And they finally figured out it was a stroke three days. And, um, I just documented the whole experience because that's my background, right? So I, I started as a reporter and then an editor, a managing editor, and I'm in a director position. But I documented everything. I videoed him as he struggled. He couldn't even get out of bed. Um, he, he had constant cases this week. Um, so we were asking doctors questions. I recorded audio. I asked for permission first um, to do that because I wanted everything documented. And um, then after about 10 days, we went to a rehab facility. He was such he was in such bad shape still that he could not even um, he couldn't get in my car. They had to take him by ambulance, and the facility was like an hour and um, 15 minutes from our home. So I followed them in the ambulance. They got him situated there, and again started asking a lot of questions, documenting. They were only going to keep him there about a week, but then um, I contacted his sister who flew down from Mill Valley. San Francisco area and she and I set up an appointment with the medical director and we um, we shared our audio recordings that we had from the hospital and um, we spoke to the medical director who wanted to release him about after a week we advocated for a second week and then I think a third week is that right Jim? yeah three weeks total because we had this audio from the doctors at the hospital that said what bad shape this dissection um, caused uh, or put him in really bad shape so yeah. Amazing. Three years now. How is it now? Where is your gym now? Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. John was on a run last Saturday, which inspired thousands of people and inspired me. Yeah. But, I mean, I get the reason why I think he's better than the field. He's always behind. Well, we had a good man. Thank you. But he did a lot of his own, too. So, when we got um, an old send a physical therapist over to your home twice a week. Oh, no. Right. Yeah, to do maybe toss a ball, and we're like, no, that's not enough. He is in his 40s. He has a long life to live, and he, from all our research that we've done, you really have to um, get on it right away. Within the first two years, you have to make a lot of progress. So um, we pushed and pushed, and we finally got three days of physical therapy, and they arranged to have a trans transportation system pick him up, take him there, and bring him back. And then he, on his own, sought out pro bono work to get extra physical therapy. So in the end, he was getting physical therapy at least five to six times a week. Wow. So that's what really helped us recover. And then he pushed himself. Like he was, um, his. I created a video if you want to check it out. It's on YouTube. Okay. If, you just, if you just search Jim okay. Walsh's okay. stroke story. Yeah, Jim Walsh's stroke story. Um, right. Okay. So if you were talking to him, we have to give a lot of information. Um, we were talking to this house, a them member, whether it's father, mother, or a child. What's the advice? You'd like to be in their community. I know with me, 
I had to get, you know, the initiated the meal in the gym. The reason why he's actually running, fully running, and he can both use his both hands because he got that from one because there was under these things and you were able to be there to help them and do that. And so and so people out there who are listening now all this insurance is really he is if you believe in it and, and you get the therapy, your loved one is gonna heal. We don't know how far or what it to be, but but they thought I was never gonna walk off the drive again. This is and this guy's now holding the camera and talking to the camera to do the same thing. And I gotta make one more mention and I'm not gonna cry, I promise you, but Michelle Ibertini, the Jim's sister, how long ago was this? Um, three years ago. Three years before it showed that she gave a penny to Jim's sister. This is how special this is. So their own penny, her sister's penny were failing, and she gave it to her. And who does that? I mean, let alone stand by Jim and get him back to be healthy, and you give a penny to his sister. I love you. <laughs> you are my sister, so thank you for That's that's fantastic, Michelle. What you've done. We're we're kind of out of time at this point, and guys, at time, guys. But uh, if you want to kind of wrap it up, Sean, we'll be we'll be moving on. Michelle, thank you for being with us today. Okay, uh, Jerry, you're breaking up a little bit here. Uh, but anyways, are, are we? Have you got the? Are we still rolling? We're still rolling. Just wrap it up, okay. please. Everybody, thank you for joining. Find me with Shawnee. Check out the blog at shawnee.com. Michelle Rogers. And, you know, is, is on the show for the first time. And you're going to see Jim Walsh with me running again a lot. You'll see him back on the show. Hopefully he'll be back with us. But he's an inspiration to all of us. And everyone, thank you. And enjoy, enjoy, enjoy your Labor Day weekend and enjoy your Sunday. And if you feel like you can't get off the couch, get up and move. Start moving. Get that body rolling for any.